All right, so in this video, we're gonna be doing some more practice with the dot product, okay? Just using the dot product to find, very, to find out various things, okay? And those things we all talked about in the last video. If you haven't seen that, definitely go check that out. Okay, so we want the first the first thing we want to do is to find the angle between the vectors 2, 2, 1 and negative 4, 6, negative 1. Okay, so to do this, to find the angle between these vectors, we need to remember that cosine of theta equals a dot b over the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b. You have to know this. All right. That's got to be something that you know. Now, first, we need to take the, the dot product, or we need to find the dot product of a dot b. Okay, so let's find that. Let's do a dot b. That is going to be equal to 2, 2, 1 dot negative 4, 6, negative 1. So let's find the dot product here. We need to multiply by our first set of components and we get a 2 times the negative 4 that's going to be negative 8. Next we have a 2 times 6 it's going to give us 12. Next we have a 1 times negative 1 that's going to give us negative 1. Okay if you're still confused on how I'm, I'm doing this at how I'm finding the dot product. Definitely check out my video that I did on that, okay? That's definitely not something that you want to miss, okay? So, now we have negative 8 plus 12 minus 1, and that's going to give us a grand total of 3, okay? And that right there is our dot product, okay? So now we found the top. We need to also find the magnitude of A. And we do that by basically our distance formula, okay? And our distance formula is going to tell us that we need to put the x component in of a, which this is vector a. Uh, we're going to put 2 squared plus our y component squared, so 2 squared, plus our z component squared, 1 squared. Okay, that's equal to 4 plus 4 plus 1, that's 9, and we square root that to get 3. And lastly, we need to do the magnitude of B. Okay, So, the magnitude of B, that is going to be the square root of our first component, negative 4 squared, plus our second component, 6 squared, plus our third component, negative 1 squared. So, negative 4 squared, that's 16, plus 36, right, 6 squared. Uh, 16 plus 36 is going to be 52, plus negative 1 squared, which is just going to be 1. That gives us 53, so we get a rad 53 right here. So now we found everything that we need, okay? We have a dot b, we have the magnitude of a, we have the magnitude of b, and all we have to do now is plug it into our formula. So, plugging in here, we get that the cosine of theta is equal to a dot b, that's 3, over 3, right, that's the magnitude of A, times rad 53. And really that just boils down to 1 over rad 53. Now, if we take the inverse cosine on each side, what ends up happening is that we get theta equal to the inverse cosine of 1 over rad 53. There you go. That is your angle. Alright, so next question we want to see if the vectors 2i plus 2j minus k and 5 I guess I should say i hat rather than i 5i hat minus 4j hat plus 2k hat we want to see if those vectors are orthogonal okay now how do we do that well if the vectors are orthogonal for our purposes that means that they are perpendicular okay if they're perpendicular that means that their dot product is zero okay so we need to find out if a dot b is equal to zero. That will tell us if the two vectors are orthogonal. Now let's write this into angle bracket notation. Okay, vector a, that is using the coefficients on i, j, and k. We have two comma two comma negative one. We're gonna dot that 
with vector b, which we're going to call, that, that'll be this vector, and we'll say it's 5, comma, negative 4, comma, 2, okay? So, let's dot these. We have 2 times 5, which will give us 10. We have 2 times negative 4, which gives us negative 8. And we have negative 1 times 2, which gives us negative 2. Okay, so 10 minus 8 minus 2, that's 0. So you can say that, yes, the vectors are orthogonal. All right, so that's going to do it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for vectors and the geometry of space, the explanation video for uses of the dot product, and the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you, consider supporting me on my Patreon, which I have linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon.